Among the most contentious issue during the meeting with Works Minister Juan Edgil and local travel service agents is the failure of Fly Jamaica, an airline that pulled out of the market and filed for bankruptcy in 2019, to refund its customers. The airline's Boeing 757 had crash-landed at the Chedi Jagan International Airport at Tamiri in November 2018 as a result of hydraulic issues. Travel agents complained that although millions are owed in refunds, Fly Jamaica has not been able to honor repeated promises over the last two years to process those refunds. Luana Falconer from Frandeck Travel was the first to raise the issue surrounding Fly Jamaica as she asked for the government's intervention to help against daily abuses from customers who remain affected. We have a lot of disgruntled passengers that go way back from when Fly Jamaica would have closed operations here. Those refunds are still outstanding. So when we speak of refunds, passengers are complaining not about a recent issue because of the pandemic, but it goes way back. And I am not sure if these airlines were bonded, that the government can make a decision to utilize the bond to allow us to refund our passengers, which we have LIAC, which is the most recent one, but since March 2019, Fly Jamaica is out of operation and lots of agencies. Frandek is over a million dollars in refund spending that we had to rebook passengers and the passengers refused to pay. On this issue, the GCCA Director General said he has written to the authorities in Jamaica and outlined the matter. Field said he was told that Fly Jamaica is in receivership and there are several individuals still awaiting payment. There are a number of, or I say a long line of uh, individuals still awaiting uh, payment. Now because it is in receivership, the workers, the airline operators, the airport, even the Civil Aviation Authority, his authority, is owed money. So uh, we'll have to wait until uh, that matter has been sorted out with uh, Price Waterhouse, uh, who is handling uh, the matter with Flight Jamaica. Minister Edgel in turn registered his disappointment, saying it is a matter that he is deeply unhappy about. When Eastern was going to pull out, so to speak, or seize their flights. They didn't give us the required information in a timely manner. We heard about it. And as minister, I operationalized mechanisms to ensure that the Guyanese and customers are protected. That is why we have bonds. That is why we hold bonds. I'm disappointed that Fly Jamaica at that time, we did not have the requisite financing in place to take care of those eventualities. I'm very concerned about it. But Fly Jamaica was not the only airline that was flagged for its tardiness in refunding customers. Travel agents said regional carrier Liat was also causing them and their customers distress. Liat also has no bond with the government. Field explained that according to local regulations, scheduled carriers are not required to lodge bonds. Another regional airline that was accused of causing unnecessary confusion between passengers and travel agents is Carbon Airlines. The airline has been accused of lengthy delays in processing the refunds for customers affected by its closure at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Civil Aviation Authority will have to look into these matters, including complaints against Eastern Airlines, which has reportedly not offered cash refunds to customers who were affected during its startup glitches in early 2020. One agent said vouchers were issued to customers since then with several extensions but no movement to offer cash refunds. Again on the issue, Minister Edgel has urged full compliance with local regulations. Edgel said Eastern Airlines has asked the government for a release of part of its bond to address the issue of refund, something Field said the Aviation Authority would advise against since the airline has indicated an intention to operate in the near future. The minister has asked Field to address all of the issues raised with the three regional carriers and also to ensure that Guyanese passengers receive their refunds from all airlines. For the newsroom, Kurt Campbell.